Hey everybody, Low Wolf Rick here. And it is Monday morning here on Las Vegas. I'm standing in front of this McDonald's here on Tropicana Avenue, and uh, which is about, I don't know, a mile or so from the Strip. I walked up here, I finished my uh, walk on the Strip and got it uploaded and, and uh, did my uh, slot play video so I was going to take care of. And so now I come to this McDonald's because this McDonald's has the you get two sausage to cheese McMuffin uh, sandwiches for two fifty. So two sandwiches for two fifty. Plus, this location here is one of the locations to where you get the large soda, which is my large Dr Pepper right here, for a dollar. So for three dollars and fifty cents, I am full now. Might not be full for the rest of the day, but I'm full for right now. And uh, good job, McDonald's. In this day and age. You get two sandwiches for two fifty and a soda for a buck. I'm all for that. So here I am. I'm standing out here and uh, just kind of looking around. And so I'm going to make my way back to the strip, and I'm going to record it. And I hope you'll all join me as we head back up that way. Come on, let's go. All right. So I'll give you kind of look around here before we're at. And I wanted to show you this. If you remember last week, last. Uh, what was it Thursday? But I told you it was supposed to be this big rain and snowstorm and psych and everything here in Las Vegas. Well, it ended up being a dud. The weather service let us down again. But if you look off there in the distance, the uh, see if I can kind of magnify it a little bit here. If the, the distance right there, you can see some snow on that little peak right there. So we did get some snow. And uh, it's all situated that one little peak spot right there. The rest of the mountains don't have anything. So let's go. Let's head down to uh, back to the strip here. And look across there. There's the uh, that Wild Wild West property that I showed you that was closed up. They have not demolished it yet. You see a, a tractor out front there. I think the city or county, whichever, is putting in new water pipe over there on the outside of it. That's why it's all uh, tore up over there. It's either new water pipe or new sewage pipe, one or the other. But as far as the hotel and the old casino there, uh, they have not demolished it yet. So it's still sitting there, probably sit there for a while. Until the uh, station casino decides uh, what they want to do with their property. Okay, right there, we see New York, New York in the background there, or the foreground, I guess. You can finally go into this windy cell and eat. Forever at the pandemic, they would just keep the doors locked. I don't know if it was a staffing problem. I don't know if uh, the employees just decided they didn't want to wait on anybody. <laughs> I'm not sure what the problem was, but you know, even into this year, this Wendy's right here, you could not get inside to eat. And now you can't. The doors are the doors are right like well, I haven't tried it today. But a couple of times in the last couple of months, I helped try to, the doors weren't locked, so. I'm going to assume maybe it was a staffing problem. This Budget Suites of America, the weekly, one those weekly sweet places. So for one week, you get a one bedroom, a little apartment for $329. For the week and a two bedroom is four hundred twenty nine dollars. Now the interesting uh, side note to that, and I've mentioned this once before, is that um, pre pandemic, you know, like everything else, pre pandemic, 
the rooms like the room for a week would run you 179. So before the pandemic was 179, after the pandemic is 329. Now I'm not sure what the uh, occupancy is like at it. So it's kind of hard to gauge. I didn't know what it was before either. I just know what the prices were. So I'm going to assume that uh, you know they're blaming everything. Prices going up on supply problems. Well, you know they had the same number of rooms now that they did then. So obviously it's not a supply problem. But I did see a thing on not this budget suites but another one where it said uh, they were looking for help didn't say what they were looking for so I don't know if it was like front desk clerks or housekeeping or it just said uh, positions available it says starting wage $20 per hour so I'm going to assume that even the what would be considered the lowest paid job you're starting out at twenty dollars an hour so I'm betting that's why the price uh, went up like it did they had to raise the price to uh, get the employees in at least give them an incentive to come in anyway I go with that in and out burger over there So this is for, for Cheryl and her hubby. I did not eat it in out burger this weekend. It was on my uh, agenda, it was on my mind. I just didn't make it down to the Link Promenade, which from the strip would have been the closest one. Although this is, uh, you know, from the south end of the strip here is about a 15 minute walk, so that's not too bad. Take a look at all the casino properties right there. So it's it's still pretty cool out here, and like a. Uh, the idiot that I am sometimes you know my hands are cold so I refill the soda as I'm leaving at McDonald's just so I can carry it with me to keep my hands colder it's like we might have had an accident up there huh It's funny as you're walking here on this Tropicana Road, there's no guard. I mean, basically, where the sidewalk wins, the road begins. That's why you get all that traffic. It's basically right beside you.
looks like that Volkswagen over there got rear-ended. The pickup truck behind it with the uh, its front end smashed it a little bit. Take a look at all that trash and debris down there. So we're kind of up on this off ramp here. Although now there's a, I see another car back behind that pickup and it's front end is really smashed up pretty good. So right behind that auto toy and there's a, I guess it's a van actually. You can see that red car smashed into the van and then the van smashed into that uh, Volkswagen right there. Now the blue pickup, I don't know if it was fault of the accident or if that's one of the uh, uh, officers maybe that's assisting. Take a look at Interstate 15. See the traffic uh, entering and exiting the Vegas Valley. There we go, trying to get that. Uh... Oh, there's the U-Haul uh, van. He's driving away. Well, we're driving up to that next thing. One of the other, you can see it. Bumper hanging off on the front and bumper bent down on the back there. Now uh, they're going to tow him too. They're towing him with that truck. I was going to say, if that's a rental, that's probably a smart thing to do. Let's get it towed in. But that red car, the first, looks like the very first one that caused the accident, is in pretty bad shape. We'll take a look again on the southbound I-15. So our sports teams this year in Las Vegas are a tale of two, uh, almost a tale of two cities. We've got T-Mobile Arena over here where the Golden Knights play. And they have been on fire to start the season. After missing the playoffs last year, they have come out this year just super red hot. And they're at the top of the uh, NHL this year so far, which is nice. Then we'll look back the other way. You can see the Allegiant Stadium back there, home of the uh, Raiders, who have only won two games this year. So, Take a look at all that trash back there. There's a lot of people asking that stand in those the corner. You know, once the traffic gets to a stop asking for money, I'm sure a lot of that trash is probably from those people there. But then again, I'm sure it hasn't been cleaned in years too, so.
This road right here is Frank Sinatra My Way. All right, I just added that my part is Frank Sinatra Way. But I, they probably just didn't add the mic because they didn't think about it. I'm not sure what this guy here that's walking alongside the road, what he's doing. But he crossed the road back there from where the accident was. So. He could be a little disoriented maybe. But he's going to find out that little sidewalk thing comes to an end and he's going to be walking out on the road. So. You know, last night I was thinking about as I'm looking towards the uh, Excalibur there. Well, not anymore as I'm walking away from it now, but I will be walking towards it again. The uh, Tournament of Kings. I don't know how many of you have ever seen the Tournament of Kings? But it's, uh, you know, the knights jousting and... Uh, You all sit in different sections. You know, it's a dinner show. So you get this little, like, uh, I don't know, Cornish game hen kind of thing. At least that's what it used to be. You know, with uh, potatoes. And you eat with your hands. You know, like in the olden days. Or if it's me, like, you know, today. But it's like you... Uh, you eat, and then the show starts... And it's all the different knights, and you sit in different sections. There's a, uh, you know, the black knight, there's a green knight, I think there's a good knight, there's a white knight, a black knight. Of course, the white knight always wins. So if you're one of those people that wants to always cheer for a winner, you have to request to sit in the white knight section. You know, the cool kids all sit in the black knight section. Because that's usually what it comes down to. But it's a lot of fun. And I was thinking, you know, I haven't done that in, man, I can't tell you how many years. You know, maybe since even the property opened. So it's been a long, long time. That would be fun to go do. So I put it on my bucket list. So we'll see if I did end up doing it or not. bird over there stalking. All right, well, we're closing in on it, so I think that's going to do it for this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that uh, subscribe button. We greatly appreciate that. Please continue watching the videos. We really appreciate that. And smash that thumbs up button. That helps us out, keeps the videos visible in the YouTube universe. All right, everybody. Hey, take care, okay? Stay healthy. You know, tis the season. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Hey, bye-bye, everybody.